Greetings fellow YouTuber, my name is Tim and I'm about to partake in something that I absolutely hate. That's right, I hate it more than doing my taxes. I hate it more than going to the dentist. Yes, I'm moving. No! And well, you know what they say, misery loves company, so I'm gonna take you with me. No! God, please, no! No! I'll throw in for pizza and a six pack, what do you think? Okay, first off, I need to apologize. If you, this is the first time that you've heard about this, I really do apologize because this just happened just now. I fell into a deal where I could actually buy a, an apartment, a condominium. So I'm starting to pack for that move. And in the meantime, I've got to start setting up for the live stream that I'm doing later on tonight. But before we do anything, I have to run out and I have to buy some provisions. So, come on, let's go. A few moments later. This is how I had to go shopping for bubble wrap. Go figure. People in five years are going to look at this, even ten years, are going to look at this video and go, what the heck was wrong with him? Well, guess what? This is what we had to do because everybody was afraid of catching the Coronas. So, yeah, here we are. Welcome to the new norm. Yeah, so we're standing here. And the register is way down there. That's one thing that I am noticing with uh, all of this self-quarantining and shelter in place and all that good fun stuff. In that last shot, I was inside the store and I wanted to add a little something to it. But I'm noticing people are getting a little testy because what I didn't show you and what I didn't record, out of respect for the other person and other patrons in the store, is a young lady who, while I was doing this, from probably about 50 feet away, in a completely different line than I, when I was in, yelling out as loud as she can, THEY CALLED ON YOU FOR A CHECKOUT, SIR! So yeah, uh, this is just another friendly reminder for people that are seeing this in the present day. Let's all be cool. Let's all be nice to each other. This is what we need now more than ever, is we need cooler heads to prevail. And if you're watching this five, ten years into the future, and you're wondering what all the fuss was about, just know that after having to stay home and not do anything for like, oh, two months at a time, people got pissed off. <laughs> So let's take a real close look at the situation as it stands. 
as you can tell, I've got boxes galore all over the place, starting to pack things up, trying to get things settled and situated. And you would think everything would be fine, except when you move into a condo, the condo association has to approve the loan, which in my case is coming from the VA, the Veterans Administration, because I served in the Army. And they seem to be having a hard time approving this. This has been going on for about a month now. now I'm not going to mention the name of the condo association or the realtor or the loan specialists that are helping to put this together. But trust me, I'm on the verge of it. I hope somebody heard up really soon because um, I'm half packed and I don't have any place to go but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll keep you posted will Tim ever move into his condo will he be able to live out of anything other than a cardboard box will the closing be sometime next year and what about Steven Wh who's Steven find out on the next exciting episode of Gainer World Please don't tell mom and dad. Steven, go to your room. <laughs>